Good morning, St. Francis. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, and is the feast day of St. Augustine of Canterbury. This Augustine was the abbot of a monastery in Rome in the 6th century. Pope St. Gregory the Great chose him and 40 other monks for a special mission. They were to preach the gospel of the people of England. The English had the reputation of being fierce. The monks were tempted to be discouraged, but the Pope assured them that the English would be converted to the Christian faith. The monks arrived in England in 596. The missionaries were well received by King Ethelbert, whose wife was a Christian princess from France. The monks walked along singing and praying. They carried a cross and a picture of our Lord. Many people received the monks' message. King Ethelbert himself was baptized on Pentecost in 597. Abbot Augustine became a bishop that same year. At Canterbury, St. Augustine built a church and a monastery which became the most important in England. St. Augustine died seven years after his arrival in England on May 26, 605. We can visit his tomb today in the Cathedral of Canterbury. The Holy Spirit wants to work through our lives too. Let us ask St. Augustine to help us be open to his motion and ready to follow his inspiration. St. Augustine of Canterbury, pray for us. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please turn to the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are no birthdays or announcements today. I hope everyone was able to stay cool yesterday and will be safe today. It's going to be very hot. Um, we are very close to ending our new learning, only three more days, including today. Um, please keep up the great work. Please keep working hard. Uh, we are almost at the finish line. We are sad to be ending in this way, but are looking forward to the future and starting to work hard to make sure we can be back next year better than ever. Uh, please know we think and pray for you each and every day and be on the lookout for more information about some upcoming activities and events that will be happening towards the end of the year. Have a great Wednesday, St. Francis.